Oh, yeah, don't forget your sales, okay? Do not forget these sales because this is where we're going to go into pronouncing, using sounds. And right here is Stongun. So make sure that you haven't forgotten your sounds because we're moving along here, okay? So this one, E C D O N I G O N I. He u gi, he a, yi a, di, a, gi, a, gi, a. Okay? So we're going to go back through uh, what we did yes, the other day because this is slow and I still got more coming, guys. I still got more. And that's not what only thing that we're going to be doing. We're going to move on. In fact, we're going to touch on a few of them. Um, maybe today. And now tomorrow, I'm going to have another speaker in here that we're going to speak for y'all. We're going to speak. You're going to listen to us speaking. And you'll, you know, this is where I want to get you to. And don't tell me you can't. Because, you know, uh, our people hardly ever said can't. Due to the fact we wouldn't be here in this place if we said we can't. You know, if we said we can't, that's just, you know, uh, that's one of the things that I always tell my class. Don't say you can't. Because... Uh, uh, if our people said, I always think about my great, great grandmother or my great, great grandfather on that trail, you know, uh, and it's sad, you know, I think about all the hardships they faced, but I'm sure there were times they were down, but they were determined. They were determined. And I look at that as like a, and it inspires me. You know, it inspires me to say, you know, we, were, we come from strong people. We come from strong people. But don't forget your sounds. You know, these are two, these are three right here now. This is two. It's, this is three sounds. Don, don. Jok. See, this is three letter sounds. Ha ya day ga ga. See? And when you put it together, you make your words. Okay? So let's go back through this. And if there's any questions, this is where we need to get. Okay? Okay. Um, I can't even get to this. Boy, this board is finicky today. Finicky, finicky. Hang on a second. But I got it now. Okay. Oh, God. I got it. Finally got it. Okay. I found it. But oh. Okay. Here. Here. This. It's, look, I got these broke down in sounds too. Here is. This is a pencil, so you know this. This is, means this. Hiya. Remember, look here. Yeah, and hiya means this. Is Is that a pencil? So you know, is is a pencil. So doa. That is that a pencil? Is that right here? Doa. Doa. Here. Okay, we're going to go through it. And I got some exercises on those uh, pages that if y'all can, you know, when you get it recorded, 
it can be, you know, you can do these, write these exercises down. And this next one is, uh, it, it's going to get more in depth, guys. So it's going, but it's going to explain a lot. So just hang in there. Here or yeah is this. And when I say yeah, it's like, yeah, right here. I'm right here. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm pointing it right here. Yeah. Ma is that. That picture. That uh, uh, ma'ahagi. That boy. Ma'jibanat. That girl. Ma'hukti. But yeah is like, yeah, tanglegi. This bread. Or this girl. Ya'hukti. This girl. So see, unhissy, my friend, this is going to be explained here. Un, it means it belongs to you, just like ja, it's a personal pronoun. Skorka, scissors. Skorka, you know, you use scissors every day, and I haven't seen it on this lesson, but it, it's there somewhere, I guess. Skorka is scissors. Hukti. Is female a woman? Hokti is like hokti, hokti. Now listen, hokti is referring to the gender female. Okay, hokti is a woman. You know, you can use both ways. It's also uh, referring to a gender. Okay. And then, but remember what I said the other day, a little girl, if you remember, uji at the end means something little. So you say, hokdoji. Hokdoji is a little girl. Hokdali. Hokdali is an older woman. Okay? It's an elderly. Pokicha is a ball player. Pokicha. Remember, poco is a ball, poco. But when you add kicha to it, kicha, that's saying a player, ball player, bokicha. But this stem, this is uh, derived from the word poco, a ball, poco. But when you say ball player, it's bokicha. The words he, ya, and ma mean this and that. In B sentences, B, M, is, and R, the word meaning B comes at the end. D can appear in both noun phrases, but the first is often dropped. Look here. Now, this is where this is confusing. And I want to kind of clear this enough. You know, some people say they put the D right here at the beginning on the noun. On the noun and put osh, okay? But I don't speak that way. I put, I leave this, the noun, leave it alone, and then I put the dos to it. That's how I speak. But I've heard people speak this way, like they put the t at the noun. So they'll say, jogat. Hear my, hear my sound? Jogat, osh. Yet. Hit. Okay. But I say jogados, and it means exactly the same thing. I just separate, I just keep my noun separate from my is there. Okay. That's the only thing. I, that's how I speak, though. So that's how I write. This D, this is D. This is a book right here. Dos. Jogat os. Book D is. Right here. This is is, remember? This is a filler for anything, is, it, whatever, you know? Okay. This is a book, Jogat Os. You can say, Hiet Jogat Os. Hiet Jogat Os. Okay? You're saying this is a book. Mut or ma. Ma is that. But when you put the D to it, you're saying that is a pen because the D is a is. Is ho got os. And this other one is the way I speak. 
is Hochechka dos. Okay. That is a pin. That is a pin. Okay. When you use D and say Hia Choga Os, Hia Choga Dos, it means this is a book as opposed to everything else. Question ending ah. Okay, here you go. Hia Choga Os. Hia Choga Dos. Either way of these, how you speak, any way of this, you're still saying this is a book. Okay. But when you put the what at the end, you're saying, is this a book? And this is the same way. He yet jogat or but this is how I speak. He jogadoa. He jogadoa. Is this a book? This is the question right here, do I? Okay. He at Jogat Oa or he at Jogadoa. This is how I speak right here. He at Jogadoa. I separate the noun from doa. But over here, they got the D on the noun. Okay. Any questions so far? Any questions? Okay. Now look here. Mm, that is a pen. Remember what that was? Ma. Ma is hojetskat. Os. But the way I speak, I say, is hojetskados. It's hojetskados. I separate the noun from the dos. And some don't do that. But either way, you pronounce this is that is a pin you're going to say the same thing okay okay that is a pin is what you're saying here but you're going to say is that a pin ma is hojetskat oa or you can say ma is hojetskat doa either way it's going to mean this right here okay <laughs> And some people does speak that way, but it's been a while. And, you know, like I said the other day, I've asked elders, and they say they speak like I do right here. It's hojechka doa instead of saying it's hojechka doa. But you will hear both of them, but it means the same thing, okay? It means the same thing. Pronouns, it, he, etc., can be left out in Muscogee. The following, okay, now get this. The following are complete synonyms. Complete. Right here it says, Joel, Joel, and Oa. Is it a book? Joel, and Oa. See, if I just walked up to you and said, Joel, and Oa, all you would have to say is, eh. See, that's a complete question. Just those two words. And you would say, mm -hmm. or you would say, mm -hmm. yes, it is. Yes, it is. Just that. Those are complete. You just answered my question. And you can just say, mm -hmm, because that situation environment, if you're saying, and you got it in your hand or it's sitting right there, all you have to say is mm -hmm. But this is just specifying for you learners that you can say mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. Yes, it is a book. See, this is, this is how a situation environment comes in a language too. Because if you're saying it's right there, ain't it, where you can see it, isn't it? Right there. Or Jogadoa, either way, that paper is sitting right there for them to see. And you can just answer with, mm -hmm. Mahaya, uh -huh. uh, let me see. Um, a similar old gear, uh, Nagin Hotel, I got. Uh, 
Is it similar to ours? To yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. Now they got mm -hmm. a little bit different, um, and the Florida Seminoles way different. But the Oklahoma uh, Seminole, uh -huh. they're uh -huh. basically we speak basically the same language. They might have a little bit of difference. A little mm -hmm. bit of difference, but yet it's there. I mean, you know, they, they, it's Muscogee, Muscogee Seminole. Uh -huh. reason I ask, because I saw something written by uh, a Seminole, the, a person that claims to be Seminole, and it looked like ours, but there again, um, that person was putting that T uh -huh. over closer to, um, over yeah. closer to the, like that, you know, Zolga, uh, that KVT. Uh -huh, uh, yeah, that, that's what they were saying. They were putting that T there instead of uh, putting the T over there closer to the O. We were saying, Joa. you know, I think they were putting that T back over there and using that other sound that, you know, we talk uh, Joa, uh -huh. and then they're not, they're not using that. They're using it like a do and then oh uh -huh. you know so yeah and somebody I noticed said, that and i thought well is there is there uh writing a little bit different than ours or is it is it uh the same it's the same but all they're doing is putting this d and it sounds the same means the same they're just saying to cut hear it to cut oh Mm -hmm. And we say choga dua, it means the same thing. It's just that they're putting a D over here by the noun. But if they ask me right here, they said choga dua, I would understand mm -hmm. what you're saying. You know, it's just, uh -huh. just different, a um, little bit of uh, enunciation right there. While we say choga, they're saying choga. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So that's where that difference comes in. Um, does that kind of answer your question? But it means exactly the same. It means exactly the same. It's the same thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So here. Oh, oh, naga. Oh, oh, naga. That's a oh, oh, naga. It should be right here. This O should be, this A should be by the whole. Oh, oh, naga. Oh, oh, naga means something to read. Read it. It's something to read. So right here. Okay, look here. I got all this bro. This is a clock. Look here. Here. Hasiskith got os. Some speak that way, but it means the same thing. Either way, it means this is a clock. Okay. Bukut owa. Bukut owa. And if you say buko doa, is this a ball? It means the same thing. It's just they put the D. Some people speak with the D on the noun. I don't do that. I separate mine. But you know that it's still right. It's still right. Uh -huh. Joga Thakko is a Bible. Joga Thakko, it means the big book. And, and that can translate like the big book, but it means a uh, the book of all. You see what I'm saying? And, and that's okay. You don't have to have perfect creek because I know what you're saying. You're you I know what you're saying. You you go by the Bible and you uh, worship the Bible. See, that's I can understand you. And that's the thing right there. Um, um. A speaker can actually understand what you're trying to say, even if there's a little mispronunciation, even if there's a little bit of a differentiation, I can understand. Yes, sir? 
Are you on there, Mr. Schaefer? Okay. So anything, any way you say this, it's gonna be the same right here. Joga wa joga do wa. Now I want y'all to hear how I'm saying this now. Joga o wa. Joga do wa. Both of these means is it a book? You say in here joga os or in here joga dos. Yes, it is a book. But when you say situation environment, if you were sitting there and you say he got or I would say uh -huh. that would answer that question right there. So um, that's that's where situation environment has a lot to do with it. Okay, let's go back over here now. Clock, clock is hasiskiska. Hasiskika, and that's descriptive, guys. Hasi is sun. Iskiska means it measures the sun. And you know, long time ago, we didn't have clocks. And I'm sure some people said sundial. That was European. That was European. We had the sun. So when it was just coming up, just, you know, when it was peeking over the horizon. Hashi Alei got is saying the sun's getting up. Like waking up too. See? Hashi Alei got. So this measures Hasiskika. This is why this is descriptive. We didn't have a word. We didn't have clocks. So this is descriptive. Hia hasiskika os or hia hasiskika dos. This is a clock. Okay. Bokkot owa or bokkot owa. Is this a ball? Monks hasiskika hasiskika os or monks hasiskika dos. No, it is a clock. See, they're answering. They're 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 being they're doing different things here. Here, this unhisit os, hoktit os, or hoktit os. This is my friend. It is a girl. Remember, un is a personal pronoun. Okay, personal pronoun. Okay, introduce yourself and someone else along the following line. Okay. Mary Jahujif got os. See how they got that right there? D. Or the way I would say it, Mary Jahujif got os. Okay. So, monks is no, right? Uh huh. Monks is no. It's no, monks. But you know, um, um, I had my grandson ask me that the other day because, uh, you know, I, I speak to him and I said, um, huh? -uh. I said, huh? -uh. And you hear that in the Muscogee world, huh? -uh. And um, and but look how it sounds. Do you hear in English? Do you hear huh? -uh? You don't hear that. Only in the in the Moscow you hear. Huh. So he asked me something, and I said, "Huh?" And he said, uh, <clears throat> "He said, Grandma, what's no?" And I said, "Monks." And he turned around and he looked at me and he said, "Use it." This is a seven-year-old that told me, "Use it." So um, it's monks, yeah. He was right. I had a seven-year-old, and you know what time my mom told me way back. She said, a child will give you info. A child will stand looking up at you and say, you did not listen. She said, a child will tell you that. 
She said, one of these days, a child will look up at you and say, you didn't listen. And you know, that came to me when he said that. A child told me, a woman said, use it. And I listened. Because even though he's a child, he told me right. He was telling, he was giving me good advice. And I start saying, Monk. See. And you know, things that my mother told me, they're coming to be. And you know, the other day we was talking, I was talking to my friend. In fact, the speaker that I had in here. Um, we was talking about all kinds of things about long time ago how we were taught to do this and how we were taught to do that and how we were told, you know, go do this, go do that. And she said, you know, I, uh, she said, it's coming, coming to be. And I was telling her about my grandson, how he told me, use it. And he said it. But that came back to me that my mom said a child will look up at you one day and say, you didn't listen. And I think she meant like, you didn't listen to your elders. You know, you didn't listen. Okay, let's get back to this. Mary Jahojifkados, or the way I speak, Mary Jahojifkados. My name is Mary. Yeah, yeah, this. Anhistikos. Yeah, and this does either way. This is my friend. Yeah. He or she is a student. Joga hijat os or joga hijados. He is a man. Okay, this is gender now. Honanwa. Dos. That's gender. Okay. Honanwa is a gender. So uh, when you're talking about a man, it's a hunanwa. Okay. Look here. Answer with ihin. Ihin. Or answer with joga doa. Joga doa. Or ihin joga dos. Mahoktit oa. Or mahokti doa. How would you answer? You would say, There you go. Or, There you go. See, you're just answering. Okay. Ma anhisit oa. Or, ma anhisit oa. How would you answer that? There we go with doa now. And his sidos. Go. There you go. Okay. Or Mahunan Wadowa. How would you answer? So uh, yeah, they'll have some. I have somebody send it to you, okay? I'll have uh, Jordan try to. Okay. <laughs> See how this is. This is. It's just simple, but it's speaking. Unhisi. Pokicha. 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 Or. Unhisi. Pokicha. Doa. What would you say? Yes, he is a ball player. Bokicha is a ball player. And this is derived from Boko. Remember, I explained a while ago. Bokicha means a ball. Okay. Any questions so far? Because this is getting. We're going in depth more, and I hope this is helping you. Now, let me know, is this helping any at all? 
Ehe Mahaya. Is it helping? Mahaya. Uh huh. Uh, Nizi Hung Young in um, uh, Lucky Boy is I don't want Facebook. He Jayan, uh, Muskogi in Bonag. I mean, uh, Creek in Bonagan. Nak uh, uh, Onayagi Don. He Jayan. Miko Zaka. Hired on a store in Magagi, dear Margaret. Uh, Hotel Jagidon. Oh, he Jayan. Uh, Derek in Bonagan. He Jagot. Istijani in or Muskogi in Bonagan. Man, he Jat. Uh, stories on Okonai at Hada a Sajabatki Dange so on. More in, um, Okunai and Githir and Zayat to Mangan. Hang on, he Zayat. Okunai Yat. Tafigi Ootos in Sajabat Kitos. Oh, gosh. I'm glad this helped you. This is what this is all about. Yet, Omi Jeji, Maha Yedundo. Ihoe is the Githoya Hani Gome. She said that now she, she read. She read, and that makes me happy. You know, a lot of us know how to speak, but we didn't know how to read. And she just said she read, and that makes her very, and you know what, that just fills my heart. And that's the whole reason, people, that I do this. I do this for a reason. Because now she can read. It, it's a, it's something that she couldn't do before, but now she can. It's not, a, and it's not because of me. It's because this is hers. It belongs to her. It belongs to her. It's not because of me. It belongs to her. Mahaya. Uh huh. I had the same experience. Um, I'm reading between two fires. Uh huh. And um. There's simple Muskogee sentences in there, and I was able to understand the language as I was reading it. Oh my gosh, see y'all guys, this is what makes my job worth it. This is what does it. Now I'm tearing up. You know, this, you know, I am so glad. You know, I, I told y'all before, if y'all don't learn anything, I don't need to be here. I don't need to be teaching, but I guarantee my classes. And it's not because of me. I'm sharing what belongs to you people. It belongs to you. Remember, I said, own it. Inagijas. Inagichit, Gunayas. Inagichit, Gunayas. Own it and speak it. Own it and read it. Own it and understand it. I am so happy for you people. Because, you know, this is what makes my job everything that it is. This is what makes it. And I don't feel like, you know, and remember I said, ask all the questions you want. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. You know, people, um, this is what it takes, guys. This is what it takes. And I'm just, I'm uh -huh, just yeah. I am so happy for you. I, for you, for you, you. I'm happy. Mahaya. Uh -huh. Um, me goes up with a get it on the way and stowing, uh, is the item monagan, stung one. Me goes up by don't the way and Okonai go die doom and badat. Hang your what? He jayat. Said of its kiddos. I'm just telling her that, um, uh, before I've, I've known how to pray in the Muscovy language for a long time, but I never knew how to read it. And the other night it gave me an opportunity to see that and read it. I didn't look at the English translation. I just sat there and started looking at it, looking at the Muscovy words. And as I started reading it and I thought, I can do this. And my heart just began to overflow with joy and we're just like everybody else that wants to make me tear up because I know what me to 
chambuzi chambuzi ni baka of it can you do is man man ogi ans maga get maga give me this way to us somewhere i think my grandparents are looking down on me and and just thinking this is what we wanted for you and it just blesses my heart it blesses mine you just don't know how much it blesses my heart yes ella thanks for sharing that that's where it is i've got a big lump in my throat <laughs> so, um, I wish I could give you a hug. Me too. <laughs> give you a virtual hug. <laughs> me <Well>, three. <laughs> Mahaya, it's, uh -huh. it's the same way with me. I'm not fluent like Ella, but uh, just being able to read and I catch myself breaking words down on Facebook, the things that the language department shares, uh -huh. you know, tribe shares. And then I start to repeat it, trying to put it together so it sounds more like it should sound. But I have stories like that, too. And recently, when I wake up in the morning, not every day, but I have this mumble jumble going on in my head. And it's like my ancestors speaking. It's like I'm hearing my mom, my dad, my, my aunt, you know, um, and I'm just trying to figure out, you know, I kind of know what you're saying. You know, I haven't got it totally figured out yet. It's so well, OK. So, you're owning it. You're owning it. And this is what you had to do. It had to be part of you. It's coming into you. And remember, I said there's that flicker, and then it, you'll start going into this transformation. It, it's you're there, both of you. Okay, both of you. And and this is what you know what you just made my day. It is so cloudy and rainy here, and it was just kind of gloomy. But y'all just made my day. My day, you know, it, this is what makes my day. I don't know if anything can beat this. It, it, this is, and everybody else will get that. You'll start owning it. You'll say, it's mine. And you'll start, when you own it, it's when it starts coming in. Okay, you're starting to feel it in your heart. So this heart is going to take all this in, okay? It's going to take it in. So here we go now. We just got a few minutes. Mary Hoktidua or Mili Hoktidua. Mary, we call Mili. Mili. Because we, we didn't have, we, we couldn't pronounce Mary maybe, or we didn't have it, but we sure had Mili. So guess who was the inventor of the name? <laughs> See how much we can mealy. <clears throat> Give the question corresponded to the answer. Okay. Is so jetskat oa? Is ho jetskadoa? Okay. E he is ho jetskados. Okay. So hard to have witnessed that. See. That's, it's, it's an inspiration to all of you, all of you, an inspiration to every one of you. It was an inspiration for me. You know, it was, it, it inspires me, so it should be an inspiration to all of you, okay? Look here, example. Is ho jetskat oa? Is ho jetskat oa? So you would say, and these are both asking the question now, is it a pencil? So you would say, is Okay. So right here, you say it, So you're going to ask, And they would say, Okay. That's what it is. Um, how do you say, ha okay, I've got a question here. How do you say happy anniversary? Today is our 50th. Oh, my gosh. Happy anniversary to you, for one thing. You know, we didn't have anniversaries. We didn't have it. And, you know, um, I don't even know if they counted the years they were married. 
They were just together. And I don't know um, if they even counted that. And I don't even know, you know, um, we didn't, we, you know, they might have been to get, the, the, I don't even know if they had a marriage license. <laughs> I don't even know if my grandma had a marriage license. But, um, you know, you would say, Tibagit, Bali Jakibin, Kaktuis. We're saying we've, we, we've been together 50 years or we've been living together 50 years. But anniversary, there isn't any, you know, we don't have that. We have happy. You can say, you know what? Just come into mind. We can, you can say, we've lived happy 50 years. <laughs> You see, have you, you know, we didn't have, a, a, can you, yes, I can. Afachkit. Balijakibin. Kaktuis. Afachkits me, we've been happy. Balijakibin is 50. Is it's 50 and we've been living together. We've lived here together for 50 years. So Balij uh Alpha Chikit. Balijakibin Kaktuis. We've been together 50 years happy. Happy anniversary, guys. Happy anniversary. Alpha Chikimonga. Adam. Solo be solgi idinga gachas. What I said was you'll live together a lot more years. Okay, a lot more years. Okay, so right here we say is ho chech katwa, is ho chech kadoa, is ho chech kados. So right here you would ask Choka doa or and somebody would say, or right here it says, so you would have to say, or and you would say, okay. Or you can even add ya boko do wa. Yeah. Is this a ball? Yeah, boko do wa. Or and you can say in here, boko dos. Yes, it is a ball. Yeah, kukti do wa. Because you're putting this with this now. This is this a girl? But you can just say kukti do wa. Kukti dos. Any questions? This is just going the other way around with this. And, and this is good practice for y'all too, guys. <clears throat> you can either say, yeah. Say, is this a paper? And it's the same answer, guys. You can say, you can you can do it this way. Is doa or is doa. You can say, joga doa or you can say, yeah. Is this a book? Any questions? Either way, it's going, the answer's going to be this right here. Either way, you say it. You add yeah, or even just sort it up, say this. These are complete sentences, though. These are complete sentences. This is a complete answer. Okay? We got four minutes. Has this gift goji? Has this the little sun measure? Oh, start for a dos. There's just four minutes left. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Look here. What's this? What's this? Look here. Here, 
nugget oa or hia nagidoa. Nagi is what? Hia is this. Or you can say ya nagidoa. You don't even have to have this he. You can just say ya nugget oa. But this is saying, what is this? Hia nugget oa. Or hia nagidoa. Either way. So you can say, if I, you can say, if I do, see, if I do, here, nugget, or if I do, if I do, here, nugget, or she does. That's speaking, that's a conversation. That is asking a question and that's answering it. Those are complete sentences, okay? Complete. You can say, yeah, fujo do wa. Yeah, fujo do wa. You say, eh, uh -huh, fujo dos. Or you can say, here, nugget do wa. Fujo. Here, nugget do wa. Bako. When you say that, yeah, now remember it's right here. This was situation about it's standing right in front of you and they're asking, what is this? Okay, what is this? It's right there. So this is this is right here. They're saying, what is this? Okay. Waga. You don't even have to say waga dos. You don't even have to say that. You just say waga and you answered the question. They made a complete question. Here, Nagidoa Chuada. That answered the question. Chuada. Here, Nagidoa Benwa. Remember these now. These you're learning new words here. Benwa's turkey. Here, Nagidoa Sukha. Sukha. It's a hog. That's all you're saying in English. You're saying, what's this? And all you're saying is, dog, what is this? Cat, what is this? Duck, what is this? Horse, but you're saying, hiya nagidoa, and you're saying, ifa. Hiya nagidoa, you're saying, boshi. Hiya nagidoa, fujo, see? It's just, it's just, and it's, it's a complete question, and it's a complete answer. Here, nagidoa doloshi. Here, nagidoa shashakwa. Here, nagidoa yabifega. Here, nagidoa abiga. Tame animals. See? Okay, see that's all this is guys. And this is complete question and a complete answer. See, you know, so I hope this is going, this is helping you in a way. I'm, I'm hoping this is what, and it's simpler maybe than the rest that I've showed you, okay? This may be a little simpler and maybe a little more explanatory than what I had before. Okay, remember what? in Muskogee is Nagi. Okay, Nagi. It's Nagi. So, has this Gifka, said Major, Hamga, Uthibiga. It's already one o'clock. So, Boxing, Chihijagathis. I will see y'all tomorrow. But now remember, I'm going to bring a speaker in and y'all just going to listen to a conversation and ask questions. Oh, Mado, you guys against Jay. Mado, I don't know, but I want, y'all just don't know people how happy he's made me and made this job worth everything that it is. Wow. This was my, this <laughs> was my purpose. <laughs> this made my day. Y'all guys keep studying, keep going, own it, own it, take it to heart. Put it in your heart. Oh, I know. Jehita got this J.
Oh, I know. Madhaya. That was beautiful. Truly beautiful. Every, all the hours I have spent in this class, that moment, that was beautiful. That was. Madhaya. Madhaya. 